welcome to story time. I've been reading this book by Tamsi Ashman, In the Know, Inspiring Black Figures. I found it really inspiring and there's lots of people in here from history and present day who have just overcome some incredible things and are really inspiring me. So I wanted to share a little bit of it with you. So this page is about some of the black British inspiring figures and we've got a little bit about Samuel Coleridge Taylor. So I'm just going to read it. Black people have been influential in every category of music, such as rap, hip hop, and even classical music, which has been traditionally associated as a white genre of music. However, there has been a lack of recognized black composers in history. Samuel Coleridge Taylor was a respected composer who studied at the Royal College of Music in the 1900s, at a time where it wasn't common for black composers to enjoy international success. Coleridge Taylor broke down barriers with his classical compositions, which were revered. He even went on to perform for President Theodore Roosevelt, which was an honour and a rare event for a man of his background. He was the first black recipient of a blue plaque in England a commemorative sign serving as a historical marker, which was erected on his former London home in 1975. Wow, I didn't know that. And there's this paragraph here about Evelyn Dove, which I think is really inspiring and I'm really excited to share it with you. Evelyn Dove was a 1920s and 30s jazz singer who studied piano and elocution at the Royal Academy of Music. Dove quickly realised when she graduated that the classical music scene was not welcoming of a mixed race female singer. However, she was not dissuaded by the discriminatory climate and went on to become the first black singer ever on BBC Radio. Dove was broadcast on BBC throughout World War II in a variety of programmes enjoying success and popularity. Dove helped pave the way for many artists of colour to gain radio airtime and was loved by many listeners, showing that race can transcend the airwaves. And the last bit I wanted to share with you was about Margaret Busby, just on the next page. So, years ago, it was hard for writers of colour to get noticed in the literacy world. Therefore, it was difficult for them to get their work published due to racial barriers and limited opportunities in this sector. Margaret Busby was Britain's youngest and first black female book publisher in 1967, who in the tough racial climate of the time, co-founded the publishers Alison and Busby. This was an inclusive company which welcomed the work of black writers who had previously been ignored. Though a and did not exclusively publish black authors, it was nevertheless a major catalyst for bringing black literature to the mainstream. Busby continues to support and encourage young writers today. Impressed by their enthusiasm and energy, she has written several plays and is a frequent contributor to The Guardian, The Sunday Times and independent newspapers. Wow. I mean, there's a lot to be learned from this book and I certainly am looking forward to diving through a little bit more of it. Hope you enjoyed that little bit. See you soon.